Hi, this is Dustin Hookstra, Applications Engineer Architect at Cadence. Today I'll be giving a demonstration of the electrothermal co-simulation between AWR Microwave Office and our Celsius Thermal Solver for a PCB Doherty amplifier. Hope you enjoy watching it. Thanks. I'll be giving a quick demonstration here of the Celsius integration with Microwave Office. Uh, in this demonstration, I will be showing the electrothermal co-simulation. So this won't be highlighting just the integration itself. It will be actually showing how Celsius will work together with Microwave Office uh, to be able to arrive at a, um, a set uh, temperature and power level after iterating back and forth. So we're going to set things up like we normally do for Celsius. We have an extract block here to create our thermal structure, which is shown right here. Uh, that has, as you can see here, has Celsius as the solver. And what I'm going to do is actually run a script here. And it's here under our thermal category. And it says run iterative electrothermal loop. And so what that will do is it will bring up a window that will prompt me to check, select my harmonic balance simulation, which is called right here, Doherty pair uh, nonlinear test bench and my EM structure, which is called just simply TH subcircuit. So when I click on OK, what it's going to do is first run the nonlinear simulation here to determine the exact output power and how much power is dissipated per device of our geometry. And then once that's done, it's going to kick off Celsius here in the background. So it doesn't actually launch it uh, for you to see what's going on, but here within the simulation window, we can see it's logging the activity and the progress it's making as it goes through. So here it's converged on second, first and now second iteration. Um, it's a relatively quick simulation for each one. So now it's completed its first thermal simulation. Now it feeds back that thermal data back into the nonlinear simulation um, to give new temperatures. And then it reruns the thermal simulation with those new starting temperatures. And it's going to iterate again. Uh, now it's running that second thermal simulation. Here we can see the progress in the status window. And there it is going with the first mesh iteration and the second one. So we know uh, based on the first one, it should finish pretty quickly. And now it says temperature has converged. And now what we can do is we can look at our, our thermal subcircuit here, as well as all of our different points. Um, if we want to, we can highlight the thermal sources here. If we double click, we can see uh, here is where the, the main heat source is coming from that top amplifier. And we're giving, it looks like an average temperature of 69 degrees and a maximum temperature of about 70, with a power dissipated of about 9.6 watts. Um, we can do that for each and every one of the devices in here, just double click on anything. We can see how much temperature and power is dissipated for each one. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, please go to cadence.com.